Not yet. Not yet. Wait. Little midweek update. Well, it's near, near the end of it. It's Friday tomorrow, isn't it? So it's nearly the end of the week. So not so midweek. End of the week blog. End. That'll do. <laughs> okay, I'll talk some crap. But uh, yeah, we, hey, I was just watching on our news, our local little uh, news channel down here in Devon. Uh, that our neighbouring county in Cornwall, they had a couple of sightings of some orca whales off the uh, coast down there, which is pretty exciting. So anybody that's coming down on a bloody holiday or anything, keep your eyes peeled out off the old coast. Um, really exciting news. And one other thing I'd remember, oh, the other thing I was having to remember was the fact that just down the road from us is a pub, which is on the Brit Stops, and it's called The Star Inn. I've done some blogs, I've, I've done a couple of little posts on this before, and <clears throat> there's been some motorhomes rocking up in this place recently. This morning, spotted a nice Concord down there, all parked up, legs down, and he was there last week, so I don't know whether they've been down to Cornwall or something on a little um, little trip, but uh, just spotted it again this morning. Um, so bear it in mind, tonight there was a van conversion in there, parked in the car park, so it's a great spot. People are loving it for the um, the overnighting in there, and great little pub. Look it up on some of my blogs, it's called the Star Inn, Liverton, just off the A38. If you're coming down to Devon, heading towards Cornwall, great little pub stop uh, to spend the night, you know. Uh, great little beer garden, especially now the, the sun is shining. Whoa! And we are super excited because, as you just saw my intro, uh, we are we've got a trip on. We have got a trip on, which I plan this trip um, before the last lockdown in last March, and we were just all ready to go on this trip, and it just went woof. But the trip is back on. I was thinking the other day, we, we were like, talking about um, what we've been up to, and I haven't done, we've done like minimal. Uh, we just had this little weekend away in Dorset, so we've, we've been getting a couple of two nights, this, that and the other, but nothing like, we haven't been, we haven't been away on a bit of a motorhome trip for, um, since last July. I know, hey, maybe, you know, there's a lot of people out there I know of the score, and, uh, but, you know, we're like withdrawing badly. We're withdrawing badly from the life. So um, we are just about to get our uh, teeth into another exciting trip, which normally when I get a bit of a trip on, I have to get some super duper shades, which, um, yeah, these are my Scottish road trip shades. Bang on. Take two. Woo! Yeah, so anyway, we're, to, we're um, just about to, uh, so one week, we've got one week to go, and um, so I thought I'd just um, chuck in a little update on what we're up to, and so it's one week, and we are going to Scotland. Uh, yeah, so we're absolutely super excited, to say the least. And uh, anyway, so uh, my wife was saying to me, are you, last week it was snowing up there, and she's like, are you taking the snow chains? I can't believe I'm gonna need snow chains in this kind of weather. But um, anyway, I said, look, okay, just for peace of mind, I'll put in the show snow chains. So we have our Thule snow chains. They don't come out that often, but when they do, we normally have lots and lots of fun. There they are. I think the last time they were right there was in Torplitz. I'm going to tag in a couple of photos in a minute and uh, you'll see the place we're in. I, I just like love getting up in the mountains with your snow chains on. The views are just like epic. And there they are. And they will get you places. And let's like, like say at the moment, I've still got my steel wheels on this Moho. Uh, the aluminium ones are still tucked away, just waiting for the, the proper sunshine. But yeah, so there are my um, snow chains, which go beautifully on the steel wheels that I've still got on this Moho at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm going to tag in a couple of pictures when we was up at Torplitz in Austria, tearing up the old mountain road. 
skiers going over the top of a going through these tunnels was like the skiers going over the top but mate the 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 views up there were just die for there's i was just sneaking a couple of photos earlier on actually the ones i'm going to tag in and basically we were up there over the evening and i was out with my Kadak barbecue doing some bratwurst sausages on the barbecue up in the mountains with the just to die for views. Ah, it's a killer. But we, we, I'm um, like I say, follow us. We're going back. We're going to go back. We do winter trips. We do summer trips, European road trips, crazy stuff. So, uh, yeah, but we're doing Scotland. Ah, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Right. Uh, the other thing I've got to show you guys. So I've just, yeah, I've just taken these out of my um, garage of the Moho. Just to uh, show you them and just relive some... Uh, I'll, I'll just get these out and just relive some memories. Oh, yeah. But the other thing that I love is my black diamond snow shovel. Super lightweight aluminium. I don't know if you can see the size of that. In the moment, it's in just like the collapsed mode. So you can pull out the... Yeah, pull out these little um, popper things on the side, these little locating pegs, and then it'll, it'll fold away. It'll slide down. Pull out the little locator, slide it down, and it becomes uh, super lightweight. I just love it. Yeah. Any excuse, if, well, hopefully with snow change you don't get stuck, but uh, occasionally it's really nice when you have a big dump of snow overnight on your motorhome and you you wake up in the morning and there's snow all around it and you need to like shift a bit of snow. It's just beautiful getting out there with your little uh, black diamond shovel. And um, oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so I'm gonna, um, I'll tuck them back in the garage in a minute. Stuck them back in the garage. Keep the wife happy. I've got my uh, bone dry motorcycle suit as well that um, I always make sure I, I get in there. And um, it's always a good thing to have, just in case you do get a puncture in that rain. Just remember that, when you get the puncture in the rain, you gotta get out there in the rain. And um, the Oxford Bone Roy motorcycle suit is absolute diamond. So yeah, we're just prepping our motor home. Uh, on the weekend trip, when I came back, I filled up with my um, diesel, got the diesel and my gas LPG. There's a nice little convenient uh, garage up the road here that's um, got some LPG and stuff. So we just go in there con con for convenience and get it all topped up. And then there's no messing around. Next Thursday night, I shall be firing off and I haven't got to worry about diesel. I've got to worry about LPG. It just saves you time. And uh, we're just getting a few things together at the moment. Um, last night I picked up some bottled water so we get that in the back from an espresso machine. We have some beautiful new capsules that I picked up on sun, uh, uh, Bank Holiday afternoon. We shot into town and uh, it was so good. That's the first time we've been in town for such a long time. We haven't been in like, a town for such a long time. My wife needed to get some more um, walking boots. Uh, so um, we was out walking last week and she had some uh, really bad uh, blisters on her feet because she has these like uh, walking trainers that were like too tight. Anyway, she needed to get some new boots. And um, so we had to get in a town, try them on. That was the best thing. So coffee pods, get some coffee in there. And uh, I've even restocked my big box up here because I love my coffee from the Nespresso machine. And uh, so there they are, fully stocked up, and we're making sure we've gotten our bit of... Um, we, we picked up our vinegar the other day, which we forgot last week. Getting everything together, try, and like I say, we, we try and get just everything we can, all put in the motor home, all our food. Next Wednesday, we'll just go off and do a nice big um, shop. Fill the fridge up. I don't know how much beer we got. Oh, we haven't got a lot of beer left after last weekend. We got a few bottles of um, Fever Tree Tonic, I think, down in the bottom there, and a bottle of Shimmy Blue. But um, yeah, so it's looking a bit empty in there. Um, I need to just leave that on the jar, actually. I do like to keep that like venting a little bit. 
so it's tur all turned off at the moment so it's just literally um just to get, let, let, let a bit of air in because otherwise it does get a bit stale sometimes but uh yeah leave leave that on the jar leave it like that let a bit of air in and um so yeah it's good news we have got a rotor i'm so excited absolutely all of a sudden we were kind of just oh my god we've we're, we're free to go we are free to go whoa <laughs> we are free to go so yeah and hey we've never been to scotland i've never been to scotland in my life um years ago i used to have like really long hair and a really big beard and stuff and uh in fact one um one christmas my wife made me uh billy well the billy Connolly was one of my all-time heroes and still is my all-time hero the big yin and um my wife made me a, I don't know if you've ever watched Billy and Albert where he does the Albert Hall and he was in a stripy suit and uh, my wife made me a super fine, um, she got this pyjama pattern from the um, sewing shop and constructed me a, a, a proper Billy and Albert suit and I was walking around with a, um, a bit of uh, purple in my beard, I think, and uh, acting like the big yin as you do, you know. So I'm super excited to go. <laughs> is that Billy? Hang on, is that Billy Connolly? <laughs> oh, yes, it is. I was having an amazing time. I had an amazing Christmas doing my Billy Connolly impersonations and everything. So, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to getting up Scotland and uh, see if I can get over the border and um, break in, burst into my Billy Connolly impersonations. That'd be mad. And we're hoping to tuck in some, maybe some whiskey distillery so we want to get some whiskey distilleries under our belt there's some incredible whiskey distilleries in scotland so we're looking to do some mountains highland cows whiskey distilleries hey if you uh if you're checking this video out and you're up that way um let us know we we watch videos and obviously we watch the old king in it and they were a big influence to us like going to scotland to get you know well in fact um we were going on that trip a year ago and in the meantime we discovered like king in it on youtube and literally uh, we were like we need to get out there so badly so we're uh, we're hoping for a really mega experience gonna go up tear it apart let's get to scotland and um Happy days. Well, I'm going to leave it there. That'll do. I'm going to edit this video, chuck it together, chuck it on so you guys can um, watch it and uh, let us know. Hey, you guys, if you watch this video, hit the subscribe button, you know, like watch it up. Um, give us a like. I don't care. Well, you know, whatever, whatever. But it all adds to the um, excitement for us. And Smithy in the Contiki, if you've got my sticker, give me a mention. Woo! <laughs> Okay, right, I'm leaving it up there because I, uh, you know what, I'll get like. Bye bye, bye bye.